Hi folks, welcome to Crisco's Corner. Unfiltered commentary. And that's your truth, the real truth. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for your support. Hi folks, welcome back. From PJ Media. Remember the remember these guys? The evil racists that use whips and horses to to whip non-white people and it triggered thoughts of slavery times and look at these Haitians and look at these evil white men overpowering these poor innocent people. Yeah, okay. Remember, they're going to have an investigation and get to the heart of the matter. Heads will roll, remember? Oh, yeah, the president, someone will pay. Well, for even a president to mention that someone will be punished before there's an investigation makes him an ass at best, an incompetent person at worst. He's the head executive of the United States, really the top law enforcement agent, if you will. These people will pay without any evidence at all. So here's the report that came out. Oh, wait a minute. The report didn't come out yet. How many weeks has it been? Let's read on. These guys suck so bad, and I don't mean the border agents. Way back in September 24th, President Joe Biden. Every time I say President Joe Biden, I get agita. Uh, some of you Italians out there, might, you know what that is. Finally paid attention to the southern border when he displayed anger at hardworking U.S. border agents following they will pay for something that did not happen, did not occur. It was horrible. What to see, as you saw, to see People treated like they did. Horses nearly running them over and people being strapped. It's outrageous. I promise you those people will pay. Biden hyperbolically rambled. There will be an investigation. is underway now. And there will be consequences. I gotta... I gotta uh, put a little... There will be consequences. It's an embarrassment, but beyond an embarrassment, it's dangerous. It's wrong. It sends the wrong message around the world. It's simply not who we are. The wrong message around the world is if you want to get in the country, you don't have to go through a plane and go through all kinds of COVID tests and everything else. Just take a flight to Mexico and walk across the border. You're good to go. These guys suck so bad. Oh, my God. I, I, I'll tell you, the millions that voted for these people, I don't know what the hell you were thinking. I really don't. And people that still vote for Democrats, especially at the state level and higher, you ought to have your heads examined. Three days prior, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas told MSNBC, we need this resolved swiftly. Remember that? Remember that one? I anticipate that the results of the investigation will be available by the end of next week, and I'm committed to making the results public. What a strong statement by that man. My God, my God, that's heroic. Well, it's been three weeks, you asshat. And what have we got so far? Why? You genius. Because nothing happened. There's nothing crime committed. It was a great PR stunt. Department of Homeland Security directed an immediate investigation of the events that were captured in the photographs and on video. We need this resolved swiftly. And I'm committed to making the results public. Maybe he's thinking Publix, the grocery store chain. I'm not sure. Let's, uh... Let's see what this genius had to say. Two was horrified by the images uh, captured by photographers with respect to the uh, activities of Border Patrol agents on horseback. We do not condone, we do not tolerate any mistreatment of any migrant. Okay, that's enough. I want to punch my TV. 
The next day, the embattled Mayorkas informed Congress that the investigation would soon conclude, claiming, I want to assure you that we are addressing this with tremendous speed and tremendous force. The facts will drive the action we take. It will be completed in days, not weeks. That was six weeks ago. I think I know what they did with the report, to be honest with you. Uh, they probably uh, put it on one sheet of paper and then said, well, wait a minute, guys. We can't. There's nothing to report. What are we going to do? So they took the report and they decided to do this with it. Problem solved. These guys are so bad. And it's right out. They don't even hide it anymore. You used to have to dig for this kind of stuff. It will be completed in days, not weeks, because I'm in charge. The Department of Homeland Security still hasn't really reached any results of their investigation. All of the provided status updates. Maybe that's because there's nothing to report. Yeah. No, they got their sound bites at MSNBC and CNN and on social media, NBC and all the rest of the networks. The only two that really told the facts were Newsmax and Fox. As these were legal actions and the accusations were only a conspiratorial hoax concocted by partisan journalists and a dishonest press secretary misinterpreting a photograph. No, that can't be right. These people are, are patriots. They care about the country so much. They've given up so much in the private sector to work for the government. I'm sorry. I, you know, even, <laughs> even I can't be that sarcastic. Shouldn't DHS now clear the names of the agents placed on administrative leave after investigators supposedly examined those falsely accused of criminal behavior by the White House and his press corps? Should Biden apologize for pandering to radicalists by spreading a false accusation? No, why should he? He doesn't have to apologize to anything. He can do whatever he wants. Moratorium on rent, which I thought was illegal, goes before the Supreme Court. Supreme Court says he can't do it, but it's going to run out the end of this month. There's only two weeks left. I believe that was July. So the Supreme Court said, oh, we're not going to cut it off today. It's only two weeks to go, so we'll make it the end of the July. So Biden said, okay. And then he had another department head put a moratorium on rent. Just after the Supreme Court said you can't do it. Well, wait a minute. You said the Supreme Court said the president can't do it. You didn't say anybody else. And they get away with it. It takes two or three months to go through the court system. And by then he gets his 90 days anyway. And nobody says a freaking word. Oh, Unbelievable. What was this non-urgent investigation anyway? Border agents on horses simply secured in the U.S.-Mexico border. Washington continually ignores. And by the way, geniuses, they're enforcing U.S. federal law that Congress made. Horses, by the way, are vital for patrolling agents since covering the long, rocky border on foot is dangerous. Off horses are often the only option when agents enter regions inaccessible by vehicles. Of course. And just to clean up this interview at the end here, just to make everybody feel better, as a new massive caravan of migrants closes in on the southern border, saw two or three days ago they were pushing through Mexican authorities with helmets and shields, thousands of them just brushed them aside to continue their march through Mexico. Jesus. The chances of the Biden administration confessing they fell for a wholly debunked report are are probably as slim as the president ever visiting the South Texas chaos he created. <laughs> then they showed a picture, of, was it yesterday? At the uh, G20 or whatever it is. You know, but we only got 12 years to live. Well, I'll be 65 this month, so probably won't affect me much. <laughs> I'll be 77 when the world ends. <laughs> It's just unbelievable to me. Anyway, Biden fell asleep sitting there with his mask on, of course. 
My God, my God. What have we come to? This is like, I don't know, I was going to say Weekend at Bernie's or some other. It's a funny movie, you don't get me wrong, but this is the guy that has the authority to launch the nuclear weapons. All those guys are screaming, Trump's going to end the world. He's going to push the button on us all. And so then the speaker had a get a hold of the head of the Joint Chiefs and can we stop this maniac from causing a nuclear holocaust to save his presidency? You idiots! Idiots! A nuclear holocaust with a nuclear winner won't save his presidency, you morons! It ends everything. And by the way, she's third person in line, or actually second person in line for the presidency. Well, we'll see next year when the midterms, she'll have the distinction of being the only Speaker of the House to lose the majority twice. Now, when the House is flipped, and I pray to God the Senate is, I pray to God the Senate is, at least put a check on this moron or the people that are holding him up, the weekend at Bernie's guys, they're doing the policy. He's, not, he's the president on paper. I'll just put a cardboard cutout. Let the guy take a nap. I heard he uh, went in his pants when he was at the Vatican, but I can't confirm that one. We're a laughing stock. Absolute laughing stock. And there they are. Dun, dun, dun. The resurrection of the clan. You know... I want to say something, but I can't because this is YouTube and there's some people on here that don't appreciate the language. So I'm just going to say until next time, goodbye and good luck.